I'll absolutely say that it's the mountains, the Levadas, just up there. Because that's true nature here in Madeira. It's virgin nature and touch. It's simply amazing. Is there something important to remember when I walk? Do I walk the Levadas? Uh, yeah, sure. But uh, you gotta be careful. Some, some of them are tricky. And there's, there's been some fatalities, unfortunately. So you gotta be careful, take the precautions. And if you do that, you'll be safe and you'll enjoy a very nice environment. Do you have any specific region or place I should uh, go to? Well, uh, I would say Paul da Seja, because the, um, there's a lot of levadas just over there. There's many um, uh, in Madeira, from one end to the other, but there, there's a big concentration over there. And there's some levadas over there that you, uh, the same levada, you can take many routes. So if you go th th there today, and make a, a, a levada like 25 fountains yeah, and you go one way you can go back tomorrow and do the same levada but in the other direction you'll see many different things as well so that's a good spot to explore is there anything i should be aware of how, how to dress is it does it get colder maybe mm. uh, i personally am a very hot person so i would say no because the the weather in Madeira, it, uh, even up there, it's uh, it's very warm and it's uh, it's good up there. So I don't think you have to take many precautions about it. But uh, if you want, it depends on the days. You can take a coat with you and uh, see how it goes. How do I get the best experience? Well, I would say go slowly. Enjoy uh, every moment. Because there's so many things up there. You you can see the um, the Levadas itself. You can see you can find many types of flowers that you don't see it in Funchal or other uh, areas. Uh, trees, uh, uh, even birds, many 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 things. So just go slow, enjoy the moments, and it will be great.